We've waited here long enough. It's time. We are here. It's time to get back focused and get back on task, J.O.N. Yeah. It's time to let these people know that, like, like, see, in my mind, okay. it started off as just like a little black market. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? But now it's like a black mall. Mm -hmm. So when I be doing these episodes, in my mind, I'm really just walking through like a black ass mall. Mm, I dig that. You feel what I'm saying? It's a food court. It, it's, it's massage therapists in there. There's a little place that sell knickknacks. Mm -hmm. There's a spot to get your hair done, mm -hmm. car insurance, mm -hmm. you can get your home remodeled. It's like, but everything in there black. It. It's niggas in there that ain't doing nothing. Just niggas walking around. <laughs> it's a shoe store in there, bitch. Mm -hmm. Corn dog spot. Mm -hmm. Cora got a little popcorn stand in the middle of the mall. Yeah, yeah. You know a little popcorn? Come on, man. Nicholas and them got a little spot in there. Everybody who been on the black market got a little spot. We done had everybody come in here and talk about mortgage, talking about how to get your products on Amazon. Gotta get the frames. Frames. Yeah. We've had entrepreneurs here. We've had authors and artists. We've had people in the fashion industry. We had people on here with a dollar and a dream. <laughs> but today, I feel like we get to have one of our own on the black market. Mm -hmm. oh, man. You feel me? Mm -hmm. it's, and we know this shit is dope. Mm -hmm. Cause that's exactly how we came into this shit. Before there was any of these things. Mm -hmm. Just the real one out here trying to make it. Definitely. So before I even get into the intro, just look at the camera and tell them. Tell them who you is, young man. Hey man, I'm Teague Hagens. They call me .NET. CEO, founder, creator of B Goaty LLC, man. Being the GOAT is debatable, being GOATY is undeniable. Greatest of all time, you, man. Simple as that, man. How, what else? What else I got to say? Everyone wants to be GOATY, everything, every brand. So just be GOATY, man. None other than .NET. Hey! .NET! Yeah. Yeah. .NET! <laughs> now, whether he's on the black market or not, I need to be right there <laughs> talking shit. With me the whole time, whole bro. time laughing bro. and keeping the motherfucking blunts lit. Right. <laughs> but when he's not in here on the creative side, he got another creative side where he create dope shit like this. I know you've seen clips and pics and we backstage when people pulling up. You've seen the logo, you've seen the brand, but this is the man behind the brand. And it's really some dope quality shit. Everybody know I love her. I love a jogging suit or, you know what I mean, a setup like that. And I had on the green joint. Mm -hmm, with the paint. And I, and I was in St. Louis and I was dropping off the rental car and the old head who was driving the bus, he like, man, where, where I can get it man, at? He had to have it, man. Man, I need one of man. them. I like that shit. Hey, I done gave him your Instagram and everything. Oh, so if you, if you said something to St. Louis, it was My probably God. him. Yeah, okay, that's love, that's love. Man, so tell us how this all came about. Man, uh, Goldie the brand it all came about. It was, it was, I'm, I'm a writer first. That's the first thing I am first off, I'm a writer. Um, and I started, I figured to get in the game, I get my own cameras and start shooting my own stuff. Right. So I'm shooting and just one night, I'm, um, I'm editing, I'm editing, it's late. I've been up 24 hours already, Damn. trying to meet a deadline. Editors know how that go. Um, it was four o'clock, bro, I was finna go to bed. And I bet it happened to you. That, that four, three o'clock, four o'clock hour, bro. You're so tired, you don't even be tired no more. It's like it's about just, to start over. And something just hit me, bro. It said, In my greatest, of all, greatest of all time, you, bro. Like that, like, like a commercial. I'm like, what? I'm like, but before I had been saying Goldie since like LeBron won the championship in Cleveland. I was like, all right, LeBron ain't the GOAT, but he GOAT like he Goldie, you know what I'm saying? So I had been playing, just saying it. And like I said, 2020, it, that's when it came in my head. October 6th, bro, I got the birthday down, nigga. Came in my head, I'm like, 
Pause. <laughs> 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 yeah, the internet of the motherfucker, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it came to me, bro, and uh, Googled it right there. Cause I'm like, no, nah, ain't no way nobody never put a Y on the end of, you know what I'm saying? And right, just right, said right. greatest of all time, you. Shit was nowhere, bro. It wasn't on Instagram. I hashtagged it, it wasn't on Instagram. I, um, Google, of course, it went nowhere. Websites, all that was open. I'm like, bet. Um, right then, thankfully, uh, me, and, me and the missus just paid up the credit card, bro. Yeah. So I so I had some I had something I can trademark it right then. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was like, nah, this 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 is the one. And um and what and before I even trademarked it, what happened was when I made it, I was like, I'm gonna put it on the shirt. My bad. I'm about to put it on the shirt for myself. And I typed it in, put it on the shirt, and this was like the third font that came up. It was a regular, then another one, then this. I was like, bruh. That looked like something, you know what I'm saying? And then that's what made me go ahead and I, came, I did the logo in like five minutes and I was like, all right, this is something. And uh, made, made my first shirt. Um, like I said, trademarked it that night, made me a shirt. How I made the first shirt? What was What's the thing where, not drop shipping, but uh, Printful, yeah, I made the first shirt off Printful. I just like, hey, sh- I, I don't know how to do no clothes or nothing, but. Yeah. I need to have this. Made the first shirt on Printful, they sent it to me. And actually the first person who got the shirt, your guy, Tyler Chronicles. Yeah. Flute. I, yep. I took I took it, I took it to them, took it on the show, Morning Culture. I was filming for it. I still film for it. And um him and Ronnie went crazy, like, bruh, no, nah, I need that, bruh. That's that's and it's been going it been getting the same response since. You know what I'm saying? Once yeah. people hear the the meaning of it. And you see the logo, it's a cool logo, you know what I'm saying? You see the quality. It's and, great. Yeah. You gotta stop spoiling me though, cause I, I'm, now I'm in the habit of, anytime I see you out with some product, I feel like I'm supposed to walk away or something. <laughs> and you know that, I'm, cause I'm I like, know that. I'm like, bro, I gotta hurry up and get, cause I gotta have I them shorts right there. I got there. you, I, I, I saved them, dog. These the, last, these the last of the dying breed right here. I'm gonna drop some more this, uh, this summer too, though. Man, what you going with though? What's the new flavor? Um, man. I'm trying to figure out. See, I like this. This is called Sher- Sherpa. Sharpa. So I like fooling with this. I don't right. put this. I'm. Be, I'm gonna be putting this on different stuff. You right. know what? This shit be hot as hell. Yeah. Too. Yeah. When it's insulated. Yeah. I'm talking about. I, I um. I had a show in Buffalo and I got a polo. That's uh, just like this. Yeah, man. I'm talking about walking through that motherfucker sweating. Right. I'm like this yep. shit's yep. so hot. So that wasn't. And that's why I like made the shorts. And I ain't make them short. Like. That what was going on is for the knees in yeah. type of fellas, you know what I'm saying? I already know Big Gip wants some. Yeah, yeah, he definitely wants some. I, yeah. I was mad I ran into Sleepy and I ain't had nothing on me, you know? Yeah, most was, definitely. Yeah, so that, that's slick inspired. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? When, what, what video Sheep is that? Sheep Don't dance no more. They don't dance no more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, slick. Yeah. Now I'm thinking about it. I ain't thinking about it then, but now Yeah, three stacks. Back. Remember they went on tour? He had the blind wig yeah. with the motherfucking big boots and the, and the fuzzy shorts. The fuzzy, yeah, the with snow boots. Yep, yeah. doggone. Obama was three stacks. But when Gip was on here, he said him and Dre, they used to just go out to like thrift stores and just little knick-knack shops and just see how far they could really Dang. like, you know, take right, the right, style. Right, and right, it was right, just right. like, you know, friendly competition, challenging Dang, each other. Just crazy. Like, how flat can you get? You know what I'm saying? That's how the NBA is now. They be walking through. Yeah. They be, yeah, they be, they be, they be wild. And that's my thing. Like, I ain't in, I'm not wasn't in the fashion like that, but you know how we do sh- with shoes and a hat. And yeah, in the sometimes middle. black people will fuck around and make some fashion on accident. Exactly, bro. Like, like so when so now that I'm, but I am creative, so I'm gonna be making making up stuff. My my clothes gonna be like trinkets. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. I plan on putting just different stuff, man. Different pockets instead of a hoodie pocket. Right here, what about pockets right here? Cause we, you wear a hoodie, you end up drag, hang, stretching, stretching it out. You know what I'm saying? So we'll put a pocket right here, you put the key in your phone, you know, creative stuff like that, yeah. man. And um, yeah, what's up? So look, where can they go see all the products laid out in full and all of that? Um, visit bgoldie.com, www.bgoldie.com. Also on Instagram is bgoldie underscore ATL. 
You got stuff for women, kids, everybody in the family. You can put in, you can Big boy? Yeah. Yeah. Air, air what you need, like, everybody, man. Like, you can put it on anything, too. Like, that's the thing. It ain't a clothing line. It's, it's a brand. Like, we got, you put Goldie on a sports bottle, the kids gonna love it. Right. You can put Goldie, you ever see Nike on the car? Mm -hmm. That look crazy. Yeah. But you put Goldie on the car, it's like, damn. He being aggressive of all time him while he driving. You yeah, know my boy got a, a white box Chevy called Air Force One. Is he? Oh, that's hard though. <laughs> yeah. So like that's 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 what I'm on, man. It's inspirational. Um, I just today, dog. I just um, started the um, process of the nonprofit organization, and it's a uh, it's go it's greatest of all time youth. And I like it. Yeah, it's simple as that, man. So we're going we gonna to be going around um, talking to the kids. Not kids. I want to talk to, like, 12th graders. I basically want to do what they are doing for these adults with these motivational conferences. It's going to be called GoDeCon. Basically what they're doing with these conferences, but to, like, 12th graders who finna go in the world. Like, folks ain't tell us about speaking stuff into existence and, and manifesting and believing in yourself. And you know what I'm saying? They ain't telling us that. They told us go to school or get a job at the factory in the city. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of want to be that person for the youth. Like people telling these grown folks how they need to change their life and do this. Like, well, we finna do it for the people who, the future, who right. gonna be running the world. So. So that that's just came about too, man. I can't. And it's crazy how everybody want to help the kids, don't nobody want to help the adults. Yeah. Once you once you blow that opportunity as a kid, yeah, it's man, over. You ain't gonna listen. It's over. Ain't no support groups for grown men on Thursday nights. Mm -hmm. Man, what y'all doing? Man, we just gonna sit around and have some wine. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, mm -hmm. nobody's ever going to invest in that program. Nah. So you mean to tell me you got some grown ass men who just going to sit around and get drunk and talk about their problem? Not Absolutely not. not. That's what titty bars are for, <laughs> my boy. Not in the bar. <laughs> you shout out. Man. Yeah, but wouldn't nobody ever sponsor us doing that? Nah. Nobody's going to put some money to the side and be like, you know, for all the men out here struggling to date these hot girls, man, we. <laughs> the, the bus going to be at Publix at 8 o'clock. We're going to Magic Blue Flame. And, Hitting, going on a strip club, run. Right. All expenses paid <laughs> for anybody who want to be there. You don't have to bring nothing but yourself. Nothing but yourself. It's therapeutic. Wands will be provided, and all the liquor and bud you could smoke. Damn, I might great. have to. That might be how I get back to the city, bro. That might, because because you say Fuck around and just find me a black transportation company. Mm -hmm. Give me a party bus. Mm -hmm. You put a little money to the side. Let all my niggas just coming in, you know, just Believe like it. especially like niggas who didn't went to court that week and beat the charges. So now before. all your money tied up in your freedom. You, you, you need to be celebrated too. You deserve it too. You me. out here being goaded. Yeah, that's because the shit would could have went the other way. Could have went south. And to all my niggas watching this who got a second chance, don't fucking waste it. Because me and my nigga got Jim Dotnet for to be out here this subtle way, motherfucker. Sharper, oh, y'all. You feel me? Come on, man. I, I like to call him the She Lays on My Lap, you know what I'm saying? Because she going to want to lay on your lap. Hey, man. You drop the website one more time. Uh, one more time. It's www.bgody.com, man. Why they call you Dotnet? All right, man. It's two reasons, man. The one reason is it's a family show. No, I was just doing shit. <laughs> it's the too, whole family watched it. Right. Uh, dot net, man. It's uh, dunked on two niggas every time. That's a new one. That, yeah, that was a new one somebody gave me, man. So I, I liked it that because I used to do that thing. Though. I still get dunk at this age. But, but before that, people, when I first came to Atlanta, I'm from Milwaukee. And my partner. Kill walking. Yeah, and my partner. Man, you from Kenosha. No, I'm from, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm from the dark side. So uh, my partner down here, he, he ain't know nothing about Milwaukee, but he just seen Pimpin' Ken, and it was pimpinken.net. Yeah. So he just started calling me .net like that. Then Shout I out started, to Pimpin' Ken. He been right. in the trap yeah, with I, I done met, I done met him and everything. He, yeah. got some, he got some gold. Yep. He, he fooled with me. So that, that's how I got the name, and uh, I brought it back. when Real University. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he can push that hard. Yeah. Milwaukee, where I'm from, man. So that was that was pretty dope, man. Got got it just like that. That's, I'm glad you asked that, because people don't yeah, know. his family from my hometown, too. Oh, for real? Yeah, down in Mississippi. Mississippi yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. Pimpin' is yeah. motherfucking him not on me, you understand me? Uh. He gonna talk that, man. He gonna talk that. They gonna hype him up, too. <laughs> now, look. 
we about to wrap it up. So go on, hand me my shorts, man. Oh, Good yeah, boy. man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> ah, okay, quick cool bullshit, Exclusive, man. Exclusives, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. And your bitch, yeah. man. Yeah, your, your bitch want to <laughs> see me in these after leg game, man. <laughs> you feel yeah. Right. Now, them motherfuckers hard, man. I ain't gonna let you down on them. And I already know I'm gonna need a backup pair of these, too. I got, yeah, you see how it is. Yeah, goes. I already yeah, know. I might got one I already know. I'm finna, yeah. this, for the summer, I'm already finna drop blunt. Yep. Blunt ashes and all that on that. The first pair probably getting burnt. Yeah. <laughs> My grandma used to say, boy, get out before you get what? Bunt up. Bunt yeah, most up. definitely. But hell, I ain't gotta tell you, you know where we at, cause hell, you was here before we was over here. You already know what it is, man. So much love to you, fam, and big salute. And shit, I can't wait to see where you take it to next. What's up, man? Go to and hide the man, man. You understand me? The black market is open, baby. The black market is open, baby.